in many societies, girls still stay home to help in chores while boys go to school. We look at one project in India which aims to reverse this trend. In India, more than three and a half million girls don't go to school, the third highest non-attendance rate in the world. Not far from the lake palaces of Udaipur, we arrive at the village of Redwakalan, where we meet Jantu. After her father's death, school became a distant dream. My father died when I was younger. As a result, there was no one at home to work. My siblings were small and my mother had to go to work. That's why I was kept at home. I was taken out of school. In a patriarchal society where girls are traditionally looked on as home workers, changing mindsets is no easy task. But a team of young volunteers of the Educate Girls Foundation, known as Team Balikas, are now taking it upon themselves to do just that. The NGO fights to provide quality education for all girls by mobilizing and leveraging public, private and community resources. When I visit homes in the village, I have a lot of resistance. The main excuse they give for not sending their girls to school is that there is no one at home to do the work. Team Balika spoke to my mother and others and convinced them to send me back to school. I like to study the English language. I also like playing with my friends in school. Creative learning techniques, or CLT, developed by Educate Girls, help make learning fun for the children of these government schools. Training girls in life skills like communication and finance gives them a better chance of success in their communities. The situation here in the villages for girls is that they are constantly suppressed. There is a lot of pressure on them. As a result, they cannot openly think or speak for themselves. Back at the district headquarters, Team Balika volunteers are trained by Educate Girl staff in working with communities and in creating learning techniques and life skills. Team Balika also trains girls in enhanced leadership to improve their confidence and to make them better equipped to solve problems. I would like to study and become a doctor since in our village we do not have a hospital and people get old and sick and die. Well, that's all of the six WISE Awards winners. So, what do you think? Do you know of any inspiring educational projects? If you do, share your ideas about them on our social media pages. Goodbye. Learning World, in association with WISE, an initiative of Qatar Foundation.